welcome back okay so this is really i don't even know if it's really a vlog it's really more of just like a chill chit chat what i've been up to what's been happening in my life for like the last week or so <laughs> Um, because some pretty like fun, exciting things have happened over the last week. And, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and, you know, just kind of get you up to speed. I don't really have anything exciting. Not that, well, it is kind of exciting to me, it is at least, but yeah, not that my life is all that exciting anyway, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this past week, I was actually gone for most of the week because I decided to go to Long Beach here in Vegas where I live. It has been abysmally hot. And I mean, like, just go outside and combust hot, okay? <laughs> that out that triple digits, them 112s, 115s. I mean, back in the day, you know, 112 was... <laughs> you know the the singing group but yeah 112 degrees here in the city is just it's been a lot and i was just like you know what i need to get out of here for a while i am a summer baby you know this is my birthday month and i love summer have loved summer my whole life but since moving to vegas it's really been like taken a lot for me to get used to this summers in Vegas. Coming from California, summer is beautiful. Summer is chill. You love it. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. You know, the weather year round in California is pretty decent, but out here, child, it's, it's a whole nother ball game. So I'm going to have to figure out different time frames of where I can go and what I can do during the summer months because out here is not where it's at. But yeah, so I decided to go to Long Beach for a few days. And when I was in Long Beach, I decided to go to Catalina. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of uh, idea of what my trip to Long Beach and Catalina was. Because it was really, really fun. Um, so, yeah. I flew out to um, Long Beach. Last passenger now on board. Please brief the passengers at the over wing window exit and secure the cabin. Good morning. I'd like to welcome three. We're headed to Long Beach today more than ever. We'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us. We got four pilots in serving today. We got Philip in the back, Philip and LaShawn in the back, Regina at mid cabin, and my name is Elizabeth. I'll be serving you up front. Shortly after takeoff, we will serve complimentary soft drink, juice, and coffee, premium selection, including alcohol, also available for purchase or about drink coupon. Out of here in vegas of course on southwest girl trying to get a deal i've gotten used to flying southwest there's only a few airlines that even fly into long beach because the airport is so freaking small so um my airline of choice is american but i've gotten used to flying southwest because american doesn't go to long beach and i like to go to long beach fairly often throughout the year because my mom lives there, you know, and things like that. And I like to kind of go and just kind of see her occasionally whenever I can. So flew out of Vegas and it was super duper hot. Got into Long Beach, beautiful, nice, just, it was like, oh my gosh, it feels so good here. Really, really nice, beautiful weather. Um, and you know, when I got in, I just kind of chilled out, you know, got me a little something to eat and just kind of relaxed the first day that I got there the second day, but I knew I wanted to go to Catalina. So I was looking, I was like, okay, you know, I need to go ahead and book me some, a ticket. Um, cause you have to buy a ticket to go out and you have to buy a ticket to come back, you know, cause some people go and they stay overnight and things like that. So you have to buy two tickets. So, and they were pretty pricey, like more than I thought they would be. Um, honestly, I think it was like 50, 60 bucks, you know, one way, which, you know, whatever, but I thought it was kind of pricey. Okay. But anywho, so I got my ticket 
went the next day um, to go out. It was about 11, 12 o'clock that I went out on my ship, um, the Catalina Express. And that line was crazy. I didn't expect the line to be that long. I got there like maybe an hour before it was time to leave. And that line was wrapped around, child. It was long. But, you know... I got on, got me a seat, which I was really surprised because I was like, man, I'm going to be standing up or something. But no, got me a seat. It was nice and comfortable, nice little smooth ride. Now, I don't get seasick. I don't. I love cruises. I love little baby boats. I love big boats. I love yachts. I love any kind of boat that go on the water. I love it. Your girl loves it. Um, So I don't get seasick, thankfully. So it just felt like I was just you know, on a nice little cruise. But it takes about an hour to get there from Long Beach. And so got there, got off the ship. Oh my goodness, the island was so beautiful. The blue water, the blue sky, just seeing the boats. And right when we got off, you know, the Catalina Express, you could see the Carnival cruise ship just right there, boom, you know, in the middle of the ocean, you know, because they have to take the tender to the island because it's, you know, it's not deep enough and big enough for them to pull the whole, sh whole ship in. So you could see the Carnival cruise ship out there just kind of chilling in the ocean and it was just so beautiful and I don't know what it is about the ocean and the beach and water that just gets me so happy and excited it was like I just could not stop smiling because it was so beautiful out there and I knew I was just going to roam the island and walk around and eat some good food and have a drink and things like that so you know I really have realized in my old age that, you know, if you want to get out and explore and do different things, you just have to do it. You know, my husband is a very busy man and so he doesn't have a whole lot of free time to for us to just spend time together. That's why we like to go on a couple of cruises a year and things like that and try to get out as often as we can, but he works a lot. So for me, I'm like, hey, you know, I have to learn how to get comfortable doing things by myself. Maybe my friends can't always go with me. Some of my friends live in different states and things like that. So for me, when I want to get out and just explore, I have to do it and not be afraid to do it. So I really had a good time. It was beautiful. I just kind of walked around by the beach. I had some good, there's a lot of restaurants there, you know, just some kind of like, shops where you know you can buy the little doodads and knickknacks and things like that souvenirs and whatnot they have hotels on the island as well um and i was looking up the prices for the hotels just out of curiosity on the island and um because at this time of year i was thinking oh they're gonna be outrageous you know 500 600 bucks a night but there were some that was like 300 bucks a night you know and stuff like that so not too bad still pricey but not too bad for this time of year so on the island it was kind of busy it was a lot of people on the island because you know the cruise ship was docked so a lot of people off the cruise ship were there on the island exploring enjoying i mean the beaches were packed the beaches were packed there was buns and the sun everywhere which it was so cool a lot of people <clears throat> were there you know and they had brought suitcases and stuff a lot of people go to the island to camp um but it was really just an amazing beach day so i just walked around walked over by where the theater was and just kind of checked out that area there was another side that had um, a really nice beach and chairs and bars and restaurants and stuff so yeah, it's not like a whole lot to do on Catalina Island because it's a small island, but there are things you can do. You can do the beach, you can parasail. Um, I know that they have like a glass bottom boat. They have a golf course. They have a botanical gardens. They have the golf carts where you can go and just tour the island. Um, and so I just kind of toured the island and so I could see from different vantage points, you know, um what it looked like and what was going on so it was really really nice and so hopefully I'm, i should be inserting all this stuff in this video 
but or the clips that I have but yeah it was just a beautiful beautiful day I had a great time and I would definitely say if you're interested in going um checking it out it's worth a check out you know as y'all can see I am chilling I'm very comfortable talking to y'all I got my jammies on <laughs> I'll sit here with my jammies um my internet actually went out um and i called you know and to see what was going on because my internet here has been going out quite a bit i don't know they've been working on something a lot but usually it comes back up within like you know 10 15 minutes an hour at the most but i tried to reset my box i called them and they were like no it's not coming back up so i don't know if i'm gonna have internet today tomorrow whatever so i'm like you know let me just talk to y'all and let y'all know how my week went so anyway, had a great time on the island. It was beautiful. I'm so glad I went. And now I'm back to the heat, okay? But before I went to Long Beach, before I even left, Hubby took me to a vanity store out here in Las Vegas. You know, they sell beauty room vanities um, and mirrors. And so I have wanted one of the impression vanities for the longest time, but... I don't know for some reason I just never got one I could never figure out which one I wanted they were all pretty pricey to me and I was never really sure I knew I loved the idea of the glass top vanity where you could see you know your makeup products but I always kind of was like eh, do I really want am I gonna like that you know do I really want that so I just kind of kept putting it off and I said you know what for my birthday that's what I want and since my birthday is this month on the 25th exactly <laughs> um i told hubby that's what i wanted he was like okay well let's go let's check it out see what they got so um we went i saw exactly what i wanted just boom i knew what i wanted i had it in mind because i like to do a lot of research before things like this watching videos looking at pictures different things um uh, reading reviews and stuff so i knew exactly what i wanted when I got there and I was like boom that's it but then I looked and it was like wait a minute is that one bigger and it was bigger and so he's like yeah I was like I want that one <laughs> so I picked out the vanity I wanted I didn't like the mirror that came with the vanity because it was just too big I didn't want the whole thing to be mirror I knew that I, I wanted a nice size mirror but not that the whole size of the vanity so I picked a smaller mirror and you know they were like yeah okay no problem we could deliver it by the end of the week blah 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 thank you boo happy birthday thank you <laughs> now i know how you feel when i'll be doing my things you be looking mm -hmm. i'm just looking <laughs> i can't even say nothing about it you know hey she uh hey because without her y'all know i wouldn't even have no channel so this is it folks you know what i mean whatever she want I try to work hard and get it. <laughs> when this camera go out, we'll go back to fighting in just a minute. <laughs> so by the time I came back from Long Beach, it was the very next day they were going to deliver my vanity. So I was so excited. So before I even left to go to Long Beach, I cleared out the space where I knew I wanted my vanity to go. It was where my table already was. Cleared it out, moved all of my makeup, moved all of my acrylics, you know, to make room for it so that when I came back, I didn't have to do anything. And so they came, they brought it, you know, they carried it in. I was so excited, you know. And so the one that I picked, as you can see, is the one that has the two towers of, what is it, one, two, three, four drawers, and then the top uh tabletop part that has the three drawers with the glass top so you can see what's in there and when i tell you when they delivered it i was just like man i was like a kid in a candy store i know my husband is just like you happy with your room you happy with your vanity you in your room huh you in your room I'm like yeah i'm in my room leave me alone i gotta figure this out you know and so yeah i i um I just I'm so so happy so thankful you know I really appreciate how my husband wants me to be happy you know what I mean so anything I want if he can get it he's gonna get it for me and so 
it's just it really just brings me joy because for one I love the beauty of makeup not just putting it on using it testing it reviewing it I actually love the beauty of makeup so it's like just being able to see put some of my be beautiful items in the vanity that I can see whether I'm in here putting it on or not working or not you know it's just it makes me smile and it just kind of gives me that girly feeling so I feel like this was really just like the cherry on top of me kind of refreshing my room I'm still figuring some things out still figuring out where I want to put some things but I just wanted to share that with you guys that hubby got me a new vanity for my birthday and I'm really happy. I am. I love it. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. You know, if you guys have one of these type vanities or if you want one or like it, this store is called the Vanity Store Las Vegas. So it's specifically out here. Um, they actually have their name on my mirror and the mirror that I got is Bluetooth so I can play the sound from you know whatever I'm listening to on my phone or whatever if I'm watching a video or I'm listening to music and the sound is really nice um so it has a bluetooth and, and it shows you know the date the time the temperature all that stuff I don't know if this temperature is right because it ain't look like it's been right <laughs> but it could be kind of tricky inside the house compared to outside so anyway yeah that's it so just want to chat with you guys about that i did get some new items in some new makeup items and stuff just beauty items in general i have some bath and body works um not body products but like the scent the little plug-in scents that i ordered i have some of those coming tomorrow and i think maybe some more makeup items i don't know but i think i'm gonna do like a separate haul video for that so that people that don't care about my vanity and my trip to long beach but maybe they care about <laughs> a makeup haul or beauty haul they can watch that separately so i'm gonna do a separate video for that and there's some good stuff i got too okay some good stuff and I don't know, I have to decide if I want to do swatches and stuff or if I want to just show the items because since I don't really do a lot of makeup videos as far as putting on makeup and reviewing products and stuff like that, I might go ahead and swatch some of the stuff. Anyway, we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Had a great week because I know I did. <laughs> and yeah that's it so anyways y'all pray that my internet comes back up because it's tough when you ain't got no internet but i can one little workaround that i figured out as far as you know if i want to watch something on my tv is i'll just play it on my phone and then mirror my phone to the tv so it will put it on the big screen but it's just playing on my phone so Anyway, we figuring out a workaround, okay? So yeah, let me got, let me know what you guys think about my new vanity. I love it. And let me know if you've ever been to Catalina, if you like it or not, or if you are thinking about going. So yeah, that's it, you guys, for this little chit chat. Um, Yeah, and I will see you in my next video. Toodles!